Hi everybody, Heather Soltis out here at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex with this edition of Studio 90. With just one day left in Orlando and almost all of the players in camp, attention shifts fully to the game on May 26 against Scotland. Head coach Jurgen Klinsmann will cut the roster to 23 players and then the team will hit the road to Jacksonville. We caught up with Klinsmann and some of the players to sum up this camp in Orlando. The attitude uh, of all the players is, is tremendous, it's, it's very positive, they're very, very eager to show what they have in their tanks, you know, now the tanks get a little bit kind of uh, uh, empty because we've worked them quite hard. Uh, so we kind of slow that down a little bit towards the game now on Saturday, but but the whole camp is uh, is, is really running perfectly and, and uh, the atmosphere within the group is, is very good. We've had a lot of training sessions, we've had uh, plenty of meetings, um, we've covered other areas besides soccer, so we've done pretty much everything. This has been all around um, a camp where guys have been engaged most of the day, which is which is kind of new to us. Um, so we've had a schedule basically from 8 to 8 every day. Um, but I think in the long run, we're just going to benefit from that. We are in good shape. Uh, the practice and the scrimmages were good. Um, uh, we're just looking forward to the match and um, yeah, that's it. Just want to want to play Scotland. I think that it was important that we like back together as a team because like many people came like me and others like later like, um, from the season and. Uh, from our clubs, and um, yeah, it's it's important that we just yeah, get practices uh, every day that we like grow together as a team, and we were just working on shifting and other other stuff. So um, it was quite good. I mean, I think we are all in a good shape. You can't replace good results uh, with training or anything like that. So these games, these games coming up, these friendlies, take on. Um, more importance than training sessions and meetings and, and other factors that we've been dealing with up until now. So yeah, I do think the um, the result this weekend and the performance, more importantly, um, takes priority. There is obviously a logical shift uh, by the end of the week um, because then it's it's you have a clear picture. Okay, you're going to play Scotland and you're going to kind of approach it in a beautiful stadium and a big crowd. Um, and and the, the preparation for such a, a a time period is it, it's it's always important that you know things run smoothly that you kind of have to improvise a lot because players come in at different times you have to run them through a lot of testing you want to see where they at physically you want to see where they at on the field with the with the team so within just 10 12 days we we can see a lot of things you know and then we can kind of narrow it down you know we got to cut it down to 22 23 players and uh, um, and hopefully you know they are ready to to rock the boat <laughs> the men's national team takes on Scotland on May 26 at Everbank Field in Jacksonville. The game kicks off at 8 p.m. Eastern and you can watch on the NBC Sports Network or Galavision. You can also follow on USSoccer.com's Match Tracker or on Twitter at US Soccer. That's it for this edition of Studio 90 from Orlando. I'm Heather Soltis. Thanks for watching.